can you get rid of the unwanted color in your skin, like dark under eyes, redness, and add a little blush and a little bronzer and have none of it be makeup? Yes. Yes, you can. My name is Mandy. I'm 51. I teach ways of putting makeup on so that you still look like you, but just the best polished version of yourself. So I today I'm going to do a full face of Demi Color. What is Demi Color? Demi Color is another product made by Saint. Saint is the makeup I wear, the traditional makeup I wear, the foundation, the blush, the bronzer. But this is another product that is really just focus on color correcting things on your skin that you don't want showing, and then adding a little color in just a couple of places. So this is going to be the most skin-like makeup you've ever put on. It's not even makeup. It's, it's color correcting, but not covering. You're adding color without covering, okay? So let me show you how it's done. First of all, I prepped my skin with moisturizer this morning, and I actually add a little bit of this rose product. This is called the Rose Radiance Perfector from Pixi. I love this product. It's a beautiful skin serum. It's slightly pink with a touch of shimmer, not glittery, but shimmery, and it just is such a nice feeling product. Pixi Skin does a great job with all of their products, I'm telling you. So that's all I've put on my skin. Now, the reason that's important is because you're not going to be putting product everywhere. And this does this is not a like a creamy foundation. It's not like a creamy product. It's just a color corrector. So to keep the moisture in your skin, you're not going to get that from this product. And you're not putting this everywhere. So I wanted to make sure that my skin was ready for this. And you're going to see what I mean. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I, I understand the colors I'm using because I understand what, what I'm actually looking at on my skin. So the places I've some places I've got on my skin are kind of red. They're also kind of a dark color, okay? And I kind of know the difference. Like this is dark. This is a dark red. I've also got dark red broken capillaries right there. I've also got some redness under my nose. You get the point, okay? So I've got a series of oranges, yellows, reds, and actually one green depending on how red my red is, okay? So today I'm gonna to show you how I can diffuse and get rid of a lot of this color without a full face of makeup. So this is just gonna be on the days I don't wanna really even look like I have makeup on, just a tiny bit, and you're gonna see how I get that. Okay, so we're gonna start with my nose because my nose is always the reddest and my chin. I'm gonna start there. I'm gonna take a brush, a fairly small one, and I'm gonna go into 03. All these colors can be found um, on the website, okay? So I will help you get there if you need me to help you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly cover this area here on my nose. Do you see that? Do you see how that red is absolutely starting to disappear? Now I'm a little more bright red right here, and I see that on my skin. So I'm going to now put a little bit of yellowy yellowy orange there okay so already you see how that is diffusing that redness without putting traditional makeup on okay and i'm not going to keep packing it on like i would makeup i'm just lightly applying this because i do know when to say when i gotta make sure i'm getting in the right color here because my old eyes yes i am so just like this i'm just tapping into this color, I'm actually using the small end of the 3D brush because I'm actually covering quite a, a wider area here so I can afford to use a little bit bigger brush, okay? So that nose is looking like I've just erased the red without concealer, without foundation, any of that. It really is unbelievable, okay? Let's go and hit that little red right there. So back into that 03, that's orange, level three. Okay, and then I'm going to hit that and mix in a little of Y01 for that little patch of red right there. Okay, just like that. These are all colors I almost would recommend to anybody who is going to use these to get rid of redness. Okay, so just keep that in mind. You're going to need an orange. You're probably going to need a yellow. Okay, now where else do I have redness? It kind of travels right here under my nose. So I'm going to hit that. Okay and kind of down here. Lightly, lightly, lightly. You're gonna see slowly, the color just sort of starts to disappear. It just starts to disappear. Okay, now my chin is also, I've got broken capillaries there, okay? So I'm gonna go back into that 03, 
It's dark though. That's why I'm using orange because darkness has blue in it and blue needs orange, okay? Down here, it's actually even darker. So I'm picking up an even darker orange for that area right there, okay? Just like that. If you have the right color, you're gonna use so little product, it's going to amaze you. Okay, now, where else do I have a little redness? I see some redness right in here, okay? So I'm gonna pick that color up again, and I'm just gonna lightly apply it right there. If you are expecting this makeup to look or go on like your foundation, it, it doesn't, okay? It just doesn't. So don't expect that. Your skin is still going to look just like your skin, but the color will be gone, okay? In the most natural way you've ever, ever used, okay? Just like that. This is not necessarily two-minute makeup because you're kind of traveling around and just looking and seeing what needs addressed, okay? So I'm that redness on my forehead is gone. What I love about this is my skin still looks like skin. It doesn't look like I've really put anything on. It just looks like I've taken a magic eraser and sort of gone over those red areas and now they're gone. Okay, now, where else do I have some stuff I need to give attention to? Um, for sure, my under eyes. So let's tackle that next, okay? Under eyes is something people are always excited to see because it just gives us the most trouble. All right, so the same principle goes for my under eye as anywhere else. If it's dark, it's going to need some, some orange. So I'm gonna go back into that O3, and I'm just gonna start right here in this inner corner. So this is not concealer. We're not concealing. We are color correcting. And you're gonna see the color just start to disappear. Okay? This out here is a little mulchy. Mulchy means it's like a dead crushed up leaf. It's not really dark, it's not really red. That's how I know it's got a little green in it. So I'm gonna pick up now a little bit of red, our little red-orange combination. And I'm just gonna put that right there, but look at that. Tiny bit of product is all you need. And the color just starts to fade away. So again, if you like the makeup look, if you like to look like you can kind of see makeup on your face, and that's okay, then this probably is not for you because this does not look like I have makeup on, right? Now, what about this little corner right here? That's dark, but it's also got a little bit of yellow in it. So I'm just gonna go right in here. Yellow is what you need for purple, right? Yellow's the opposite of purple. Okay, I'm gonna show you this color close up. That's 03. That's the color that I used for the areas of my face that had all the redness, okay? Now, you can go back and kind of look and see if you missed anything. Is there anything you kind of need to spot treat? I do that all the time um, as, I, as I go. Okay, back into that 03 again. We're gonna put some here, get rid of that dark, kind of just fan it out a little bit, okay? Into that and the yellow right here. I think if you wanna dip your toe into Demi and your main focus is under eyes and redness, you're pretty safe grabbing O3 and R01. Let me show you that, which is this yellow one right there, okay? Remember, to use green to get rid of red, that red has to be like a stop sign, like an absolute stop sign. Or, you, or it's not red enough, okay? I see a little red kind of poking through here. So you're just kind of looking around. I've got a little blood vessel broken right there, so I'm just gonna hit that. But you see, I'm not putting this makeup everywhere. I'm not putting these colors everywhere. Okay, back into that sort of red color with my orange to get rid of that mulchy color right there, okay? There. And just so you know, guys, I am just sitting in front of beautiful, natural light. Oh, excuse me. I don't have any ring lights or anything fancy like that on my, in front of me. I'm just natural light. So you're seeing the real deal. Okay. You're seeing the real deal here. All right. Now, 
What else do I want to spot treat? This is something that I actually don't care about. It doesn't bother me. Um, it's not something, these aren't things that I actually color correct all the time, but I want to show you how I do it, if I do it. So that little age spot right there, that little age spot is actually green. So that's how I know I need to put a little bit of red on it, because remember red is the opposite of green. So if I just attack that little age spot there with something with the red in it, I won't see it anymore. And if those kind of things on your skin bug you, I get it. Look at that little freckle right there. I'm going to attack that with the tiniest bit of the red, reddish orange. There, it's gone. So that's kind of how you deal with your Demi, is you just sort of look around and sort of spot treat areas um, very specifically without broad brushing and putting it everywhere. Okay, so I'll be honest, like the color correction part of my face, I'm sort of done with. It just looks like I have no unwanted color on my skin now, okay? But what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna show you how you can still add color and still have a little bronzer, maybe a little blush because we like that too, right? So moving out of these colors, I'm now gonna move into a couple colors. Now, some of these colors are limited edition. So if you think this is something you want, I don't recommend waiting around too long in for this part, okay? Because some of these darker colors, I do believe, are limited edition. So where might I want some of these darker colors? Okay, so this color here is neutral red, NR. So neutral red, I'm going to put anywhere that I want to add warmth. Okay, so where might I want to add warmth? Kind of up here, like I normally would, like a bronzer. And neutral red works well if you have sort of a yellow undertone to your skin, which I do have. Um, I definitely don't have a ton of warmth. It's definitely more neutral to yellow. You can see I'm not very tan, so that's kind of how you know whether you have a lot of orange in your skin. Do you tan really quickly and really easily? Do you burn first? Uh, that's kind of a good indicator. So I've kind of warmed my forehead up now. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just tapping a brush into that neutral red. I'm just going to lightly, lightly Remember, we're not, this doesn't give really coverage, it just gives color. So you're not putting makeup on like you would your, tra your traditional makeup. You're just barely, look at that, just a hint of warmth now is what I have on that cheek. And I love it. I've got a few freckles and age spots in that area, but I'll be honest, I could care not at all. <laughs> I don't even care. When I do a demi face, the be my favorite thing about a full demi face is that it all still looks like my skin just skin like i went and had a facial you know what i mean that's what i love you can put a little bit of this down your neck too as a bronzer now what about blush i decided to do this violet color this is uh v5 so violet five and i'm just going to pick it up uh, i'll do this smaller end here i'm just going to pick a little bit of this violet color up now this this is very pigmented so my suggestion is to, with the lightest hand, just start to put that on and just watch it sort of appear slowly. Just take your time, okay? Go back in with a little more. This is such pigment, you really have to kind of be careful. So I'm really, really slowing my hand, but do you see that plum sort of start to appear now? I'm happy that this is that, I'm happy to go over this a few times because I just don't want too much, okay? So just like that, okay? Let's go in with a little more. Pick up a little more. Let's put some over here. And these colors can also be worn on eyes and lips. It's almost gonna act like a stain for those areas. Like if you put this color on your lips, it's so interesting. It just makes your lips this color. So that's actually all the kind of the blush I wanted. I just want a tiny bit. And these Demi brushes are very soft and fluffy. So they're not meant. Yeah, that's just like an illusion of blush. That's what, Now you certainly can add more if you want. If you want to look like you're wearing blush, keep going. 
the more you go like this, the more you're going to place that product on and it's going to be even more pigmented. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But if you're someone who on a no makeup day just wants to look like you have got your skin figured out, that's what you can do. Now, let me show you another trick. So I told you that these colors color correct. Do you have lid color that you don't really like? I honestly don't mind my lid color, but I just want to show you the, the amazingness of color correcting. So I've got quite a bit of darkness on my lid. Doesn't bother me, but I'm going to show you. It's mulchy though. It's not super dark. It's remember it's that it's that nondescript crushed up dead leaf color. That's how I know I need some red. Okay, so I'm going to go into RO. RO1 will just be a very light one. RO3 will just be a little bit darker. But look at that. I just got rid of that excess color on my eyelid and it looks like I just didn't have any color there. How cool is that? Ooh, big white FedEx van. Brightened up my room for me. Pulled up right outside my house. Okay, so I'm just washing this color on my eyes. Right there, see that color there? Just to get rid of that excess mulchy sort of color. And then let me show you what you can do. Flip it around. I'm gonna go back into that violet color and I'm gonna pick up a little of it and I'm gonna put a little bit on as my eye color. Okay, just like this. Just a little bit of that violet. Like that. So you've got just a little bit of that violet color now so subtle, so pretty. This is definitely the days that you just have a few minutes and you want to just perfect your skin, just like this. Now, remember I told you, this does not, these are all kind of matte colors, so they're not gonna add any shine to your face. They're not gonna add any shine to your face. So what happens if you like a really dewy look? Now this looks dewy because most of my skin is still showing. Okay, but let's say you want to add a little shine. I'll show you. Let's put this on my lips first because I'm going to use a product on top of this. I'm going to put a little bit of this purple. It's just going to deepen my natural lip color a little bit. Do you see how the color is sort of showing up? That's what it does. Like all of a sudden, you just start noticing the color is showing up. So isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. And, and, and it's always gonna interact also with the color it's going on. Okay, so now I've got a really pretty sort of a plummy lip. Now, if you like a little bit of, of glow to your face other than just your natural skin showing, which is already pretty glowy, that's when one of these are gonna come in handy. So there's a gloss and there's a balm and it is just, beautiful shine. The balm is a little less glossy. Tap a little of that. Tap a little of that. And if you want to have what looks like a little bit of highlight right there, you can do that. Okay. So anywhere you feel your skin is looking kind of dry, you can put a tap a little of this on and it just gives such a beautiful dewy look. That is Demi. Now, does it kind of look like I've put makeup on, concealer, foundation, blush, it does, but I haven't. I just got rid of unwanted color and I just added a little color where I wanted it. So this is just, like I said, gives you the skin that looks like your skin is dialed in and you get a facial every week because you're that kind of girl, okay? So try these colors. If you're interested in Demi, let me know. I can help you by looking at some of the colors you're wanting to filter away. I can help you choose the colors that you're gonna need for your face, okay? It's just a great alternative. I believe in having options and we don't always necessarily want to look the same every single day. So days that I just wanna look natural and beautiful and like I've just got amazing skin, that's my Demi day. Hope you enjoyed it.